from chicken and cats and dog ninjas, there is a real quirkiness, especially to the island. Now this season, we start off with a bang, a couple of episodes of really high octane action where Seven is trying to rescue 13, and it's fantastic. But the season is mostly not about Seven. This is more about some of the islanders that have gone off to explore their own stories. And it's fantastic that we're getting to see their backstory. In fact, one of the longest episodes, I think it is the longest episode, is the backstory of another character that we need to come back and help Seven or help the islanders because there's another assassin that's coming around to find Seven. He's got a bone to pick with him because he was that number one assassin. So every Everybody's still out to get Seven. Seven finds himself in quite a predicament and a little bit ill in this series. So we have stories that are going on around him and everything is going to meet with the crux at the end. Except this is not the end. Season four leaves us on a bigger cliffhanging than season three did. This is a much more open ended season. This is kind of the padding season, although it is still wonderful. I am still missing some of that quirky comedy -ness. We have a little bit of it here. But it seems to have been getting darker and darker, like a lot of anime do or donga, whatever you want to call this animation series style. It's like in true animation form. You start off if in a quirky, this is quite nice, quite funny, has a dark story behind it. And with each season, we've just gone darker as we started to come to terms with who Seven was and his past. Even though he still doesn't have memory of it, we still start understanding what has happened. And now with some of the stories coming into play with the backgrounds of our characters from the island, I think uh, we know them so much more. But I did miss some of that comedy slapstick moments that uh, we had more. I felt like we needed a couple of OVAs because a large amount of this series is quite dark. But I do like the things that it teaches us. A good anime will always have like a lesson to learn about life, you know, between Naruto and uh, Bleach, you know, the, the perseverance of carrying on even when you have n nothing left, go past your boundaries. This one has that, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z is, is fantastic for that. You have nothing left to give, tough, you know, persevere through that. That's what this series does in buckets and spades. I like that kind of meaning or theme behind it. But the animation styles where we, well, personally, I love this series. Between that quirkiness that is still a little bit here, the action sequences between the relationships that are now formed with Seven and Thirteen, and uh, his amazing crew. You know, we have the boy who's still around and uh, is still kind of the boss with his sunglasses, but a ninja in his own right. Those that Seven have helped in the previous seasons are still around kind of helping him or helping the islanders because there's absolutely something special about the people that live here all walks of life all sorts of skill level i like this i, I mean i really enjoyed it it's still one of my favorite seasons but this is a sort of padding in between what's going to happen next it does feel like we've waited a really long time for this particular season probably have i have to go back and find out when we had season three i really hope now that they've gotten going and this is like a massive cliffhanger that we will get a season five pretty soon like early next year would be awesome but for now i would say this is still fantastic four nicholas cages out of five <laughs> and you've got one congratulations definitely give it a go if you haven't seen it yet because it's so much fun watch it from the beginning watch the ovas uh, at the end of season one and then just get stuck into two and three it's very easy to binge because the episodes are so short which is a oxymoron for me because i like them short as i get into the story but i also want more leave your audience wanting more there's more anime series reviews to come today kenga nashira season two officially but most people are calling it season three because season one had part one and part two and then we had season two and even Netflix is labeling it season three. So <laughs> whatever you call it, new Ken Gunshira review coming today. Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.